I am trying to upload some videos here this morning while Rhett and Emily do school. And so we're hanging out in the common space, trying to use their Wi-Fi, and it's not great. Uploads are taking a long time, so hopefully I can get them up soon. But after Emily gets done with school with Rhett, we're gonna head to one of the tide pools, so. We just got to Tidal Falls. It's a, it's a conserv, cons, cons, conservatory. Conservancy. Mm -hmm. Conser Conserva um. Conservatorium. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what is it? A conserv conservancy, I think. Wildlife conservancy. The best time for tide pulling here is from an hour and a half before to an hour and a half after low tide. So we got here like right before the one and a half hours before mark. So the tide's still rushing out. So I think, I think as we move closer in that one and a half hour mark, we'll be able to see more and stuff. But there are tons of people here already. Yeah. Pretty neat. That was so fun. <laughs> really good time. We'll be doing more of that. So tomorrow we are checking out of this campground and moving to one just down the road, but they're only about 10 minutes apart and we have about two hours difference between checkout and check-in. So I'm going to go ask at the office and see if we can get an early or a late checkout and that way it doesn't have as big of a, a gap there. We got our late checkout set up. Um, otherwise, I think we are going to have an early supper and then head back into Acadia to sightsee, do something fun. So, should be fun. So we're back out at Acadia and uh, the boys are struggling to, to keep it together, but we're doing the loop and we just realized that the loop is 27 miles, I think, 27 miles. Yes. And, uh, but wow, we've only been on it for like five miles and it's already stunning. So we'll see what the rest of it looks like.
We just saw a sea lion out here swimming. It was way out there. Grabbed the binoculars, saw him for about two seconds, and then handed it over to Emily, and he's gone.